Hello, this is MikeJ11, and here is my brand new ZVS driver that has lasted more than a couple hours. Much better than the last one that lasted only a couple minutes. So, I am very excited. I'm using the my brand new all awesome IRF P260 and MOSFETs, which I just got, well, not too long ago. And um, so those are awesome, and they're proving that they're awesome because I've run it for a couple hours now. So, pretty exciting there. <clears throat> but, this is actually a slightly different ZVS driver circuit. It uses two power supplies and eliminates the Zener diodes. Um, so it eliminates a couple of possibilities that can happen that can blow your MOSFETs. One is a spike back from the flyback that kills the Zener diodes and then kills your gates because the gates are very sensitive on MOSFETs. And if uh, too high voltage, more than the rated voltage, which is usually about 20 volts, gets to those, it pretty much just kills your MOSFET instantly and you have catastrophic failure. So it eliminates that because it uses a separate power supply for the gate drivers and it eliminates the possibility that your MOSFETs will be only halfway on or halfway off or maybe both of them will be on because of some static charge or something like that which could possibly happen so because of the inrush from the power supply if they're both like if they're half on or one of them or they're both on that inrush goes through those MOSFETs at the same time before they before it gets a chance to start oscillating and the resistance will produce so much heat inside of it that it'll just blow them up which is another possibility that can happen so that eliminates that possibility because actually when you turn on this 12 volts you can actually hear it oscillating and it's just enough to shock you um, off the flyback just enough you can feel it um, and it's actually oscillating and pulsing and I think that's something to do with this capacitor on the um, rectifier there. <clears throat> but, um, so I'm using that to drive the gate, and you can actually, and um, then I'm using this power supply as the main current. So I've got a nice, this is an, actually a Variac in here, and we've got some transformers, I'm not going to get into that. But um, I built this nice little uh, bridge rectifier diode, which I'm quite um, proud of. It's much better than this one. I'm using four um, of these type of um, diodes. There's two in each package, which they're rated for 15 amps, and um, paralleled them up. So I get 30 amp um, bridge, rectifier, bridge rectifier diode there. So that's definitely not going to be going anywhere anytime soon because it barely even gets warm when I run it. So I'm um, not going to get into that too much yet. I'll have a more in-depth video where I'm actually going to show some scope shots as well as um, some other technical things like the frequency and um, power usage and things like that. So let's just get to the main point here and do some arcs. So that is at 50%, about 10 volts, 9 volts. Pretty puny. We don't want that. About an inch probably. We'll crank it all the way up. It's about 16 volts when you when it um, starts arcing drops to about 14 volts. But it's drawing about 13 amps off the power supply. The meter on the um, on the left is the current. Look at those nice beautiful arcs. That's about two inch arcs there. When I do it up to um, 30 volts on my variac, I get about three inch arcs. I didn't really push it past that because I didn't really want to. I don't want to burn my MOSFETs out. Very nice arcs. Two inches. Very hot arcs. It actually makes the um, negative lead gr or the ground lead glow. And I don't know why it only makes that lead hot. There's probably some explanation for that. Probably something with the way the charge is flowing. But, so I mean, the lead, the high voltage lead never burns up at all. So. Just so fun to play with. off and I will hook it up to my Jacob's ladder here because you guys want to see that I'm sure very nice look at that just 
so fun to watch it. <laughs> so yeah, I actually also um, was playing around with an induction heater, and I will be doing a video of that soon. And it was actually quite successful. I was able to heat up this nail glowing red hot in about 30 seconds, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for a video of where I'm going to do scope shots and um, frequency and more in-depth video. And also stay tuned for induction heater. And I will also be doing a how-to video, how to build a ZVS driver, because I'm going to redo it, because I don't particularly like this heat sink. Um, I'm going to be redoing it on this computer heat sink, I think. And I'm, so it's going to be much more compact, and I'll have much better cooling. So um, that is about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I am very excited that I finally got an awesome ZVS driver working. That is about it, guys. Stay tuned for more videos.